Hello and welcome to BBC World News. The British governing Conservative Party is beginning its second leadership contest in four months. It comes after the Prime Minister Liz Truss resigned on Thursday, saying she couldn't implement the policies on which she was elected. Candidates will need the support of at least 100 MPs, and while there are no formal contenders yet, former Prime Minister Boris Johnson could attempt a dramatic comeback. Here's our political correspondent, Iona Wells. The shortest serving Prime Minister in British history. Her position unsalvageable. We set out a vision for a low tax, high growth economy that would take advantage of the freedoms of Brexit. I recognise though, given the situation, I cannot deliver the mandate on which I was elected by the Conservative Party. I have therefore spoken to His Majesty the King to notify him that I am resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. So attention now turns to who will replace her. Tory MPs have until 2pm on Monday to nominate a new leader. They'll need 100 nominations to make it onto the ballot. That means a maximum of three Tory MPs could make the cut. If only one gets 100 nominations from colleagues, they'll automatically become the leader. If there's more than one, there'll be an MP's vote, and then Tory members will pick between the final two in an online vote, with the whole thing done by the 28th of October. So who are Tory MPs talking up for the top spot here? No MPs have officially said they will run yet, but Rishi Sunak, who came second this summer, is someone a lot of MPs have already come out in support of. Cabinet ministers Penny Mordaunt and Kemi Badenoch, who ran for the leadership this summer, are also being mentioned by some Tory MPs as is Suella Braverman, who resigned just this week as Home Secretary. I want to thank all the wonderful staff and then there's this man, the former Prime Minister Boris Johnson, forced to resign just months ago after mass resignations from his own government. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> and a series of scandals over Downing Street parties and revelations he knew about sexual misconduct allegations involving one of his senior government colleagues. Some Tory MPs say they'd consider resigning as a Conservative MP if he was elected again. Others are now calling for him to return. Conservative sources say the business secretary, Jacob Rees-Mogg, has encouraged colleagues to back him, and other MPs have said he is the only person with a mandate from the general public in an election. Opposition parties, though, think it's time for a new election now. I really don't think that another revolving door of chaos, another experiment at the top of the Tory party is the way out of this. What needs to happen now? Well, on a UK level, there must be a general election. It is a democratic necessity. We don't need another Conservative Prime Minister. They need to go. Uh, we need another general election. Let me just show, get a show of hands. It's not scientific, but it's just to get an idea. Who here would like a general election? An election is something Tory MPs will want to avoid, with the polls looking bad for them. The immediate race is to see which of them can get the support of 100 colleagues over the weekend to have a shot at that top job. Ione Wells, BBC News.